Hey you internetters, welcome back to another Pokemon opening and so yeah we'll start off by opening up this battle um Venusaur V Max box real quick and yeah we'll just get right into opening this and hopefully we'll see what we get from this box and so for this specific box I don't know if you can tell this Venusaur is looking mighty mighty good and same with the Blastoise right and so I mentioned that I wasn't going to get like any battle style products, which I don't, I still don't plan to, but this, this is kind of like a battle style because it came with a battle style pack. So yeah, we'll go with this big guy right here, which looks really, really good. I love this insane artwork for Venusaur Blastoise and it feels like it's been ages since Pokemon would ever do like another, I'm sorry, like another, uh, car for Venusaur or Blastoise instead of Charizard since Charizard is the big craze and so here is the code card for you and yes this is the Venusaur card it looks pretty pretty good I'm a little bit like low on energy it's just because it's very late uh, as of this moment I don't want to be too loud and of course I'm just going to quickly sleep you know what? I'm doing this a disarray. I gotta use this. This card, Steve, for the Venusaur. It's only right if we do. And this card, Steve. Oh, it's a little bit matte. It's like matte, Steve. Huh. And, uh, hmm. E. This card, Steve's okay. It's cloudy. It's not like the other, like from the, I don't know. It's just a little bit cloudy, but it's okay. And so we'll just leave that right here and then we'll just begin with these pack opening. Yeah. Yeah, the car sleeves okay. I mean, the back looks nice though. Like this looks nice, but unfortunately it's it's not as clear as like when you get it from the Elite Trainer box. And so from here we'll just start off with the sun and moon and then we'll work our way backwards, I guess. And so yeah, I I didn't learn any. I didn't spend much time, or at least I didn't have time to actually make a video on a pin spinning video and actually learn something because that would have taken a very long time. Which unfortunately, oh, I forgot to give you the gold card, but it's a green bag. I don't know if the green bag and the white bag is works here, but I'm sure it does. Um, we'll go with four, and I don't know what we get from Sun and Moon. Um, I didn't look into this set much. I just heard that this set has been overprinted. Oh, Skrimori. I like this Pokemon. Uh, I used to see him a lot in um, one of the Pokemon games I played. I think it was Sapphire and Ruby. But like he has so many effects that like um, elements that affects him so I, I don't use him as much. But yeah, we have the Reverse Hollow Crab Crawler and then the Cloyster. And what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, I was talking about like I didn't have time. So yeah. I was going to try to learn a trick and I was looking for like a pin trick that was like easy to learn like so I could do it like really quick or at least dedicate a few hours to it and then you know just edit the video and stuff but unfortunately that didn't work out because I just I just am struggling right now so uh, I'm thinking right by the end of next week hopefully but we have a rapid strike corner behind. So this is my first time opening a battle style box. So I don't know what to expect. And I don't know anything about this set. I just heard like there's like a fight. A single strike and then a rapid strike. Um, and it's like a new type for Pokemon battle. But I'm not exactly. Too, this is a reverse hollow crowbat. Yes. And then last card we have a Lurantis. Lurantis. And. So yeah. I am. By the end of next week. I think I should be settled down to where I can start like making videos like I was like last time but maybe maybe at a much higher pace but don't quote me on that it might not be at a higher pace but we're hoping it will be but next by the end of next week I should be settled down if everything works out and that's what I'm hoping for in the moment I get settled down boom I just started going back to the uh, regular schedule because I know I haven't been posting um, pin spinning videos or Pokemon videos um, to a really good extent so I'm I'm trying to you know get back to it get back to it so in of next week we're hoping we have an Onyx verse Hollow and for the last card we have a Carnivite V Carnivite V and you know we'll just we'll just use the Venusaur car sleeve for this one for now um 
Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, it doesn't look good because of the like the covering and it's like kind of a little bit cloudy. But it still feels it feels really nice. Like it feels like this car seat was meant for like dueling or like battling. Um, I, I use dueling because I, I play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, back in the day, so every time I battle, it's just like uh, we duel. So yeah. Um, for here, this is the Darkness of Blaze pack. Imagine if we actually pulled the uh, Charizard, and then we have the Venus or VMAX, and then the Blastoise, and then the Charizard as well. That'd be pretty cool. So we have a big Paracel. We have a Shenotic, uh Gothita, Nicket, Larvitar, Shelmet. I I'm like going all over. It's been a while, and then for the last card, we have a Viva Volt for the V card. And yeah, I, I haven't been opening up a lot of uh, Viva Voltage. I mean, not Viva Voltage, Darkness of Blaze as well. There's a lot of set that I need to actually like get into opening, man. I'm like, I'm so behind. But there's like, I'm choosing and picking, right? So yeah, we'll go with the next box um, here. I should have. And so. Yeah. And this is the Blastoise box. And hopefully we'll we'll move these cards out the way so it won't it won't get in the way for now. And then we'll work on this box here. If I could open it. If I could open this. Alright. And so big card, big boy looking mighty awesome and of course I'm gonna put this in the um Pikachu giant folder thingy binder that I got for the 25th anniversary I know this is dedicated for the 25th anniversary jumbo cards but for, I'm not gonna I'm gonna use it to uh, put all the 25th and also um big cards as well so yeah this is the Blastoise version looking really awesome um my favorite card Pokemon, um, the starter at least, um, the third, like, you know, out of the first original starters, you have Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. I love Squirtle and then Blastoise. War Turtle, I didn't like too much. I don't know. War Turtle is okay. But yeah, this is the Blastoise. And we'll put that right here. We'll just spread them out, spread them out. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, cool. And, <laughs> and then we'll go to with the pack opening, the last four packs. And after that, I'm gonna go with Sun and Moon first, get it out the way. Because, like, there's, I don't think Sun and Moon is that exciting, right? I don't, it, I don't know. I didn't look into Sun and Moon. Hopefully, I will one day. But today's not the day for now. And yeah. I keep forgetting like, you know, these packs have that color. It's a green pack. Well, oh, I forgot to give you guys a code for this. I think this is the one. Yeah. And we got the Energy, Professor, Corsola, Sandile, Crab Crawler, Drowsy, Grubbin, Feral, Masquerine, and then a Cram, Cram Boy. And hopefully next week, everything goes smoother. I do plan on open. I saw it. But I do hope that by next week everything works out so that I can start posting video because I do love making videos for you guys. And majority of you, like, you guys are really cool people and I really appreciate everyone for the support so far. And everyone's been really nice, you know, with the whole, with the whole pen spinning videos, like everyone's so supportive, encouraging, you know, always giving tips. So I really appreciate you, uh, guys. And... I, I don't know. I just I just feel like you know we're building up a really strong team, our community, um, and you know I really appreciate each and every one of you for sticking around and being patient with me. And I know you know most of you don't like Pokemon videos, but I'm just doing this for myself, and hopefully you everyone who watches enjoy the video as well. So we have a Mean Fu, and for the last card we have a Flapo V Max. Oh, that's funny. You know what? I totally forgot, but I forgot to, to say this, but yeah, it's a Flappo VMAX. You know what? I totally forgot. Like, I should have done this in the beginning of the video. Now I feel dumb because, okay, I'm sorry for the interruption, but I have these Flappo promo cards um, from GameStop. Yeah, 
And one of them have like this awesome swirl like next to it. It's like a really deep swirl. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't I'm gonna try and like show it, but it's like a really deep and heavy swirl. But don't know if you guys could see it that well. I think right here, right? Yeah, like right here-ish. And yeah. Just thought I showed you guys because I forgot like uh to show that. But yeah, I got two. Cause I went to two game shops and they were like, you can only get one per store. So I was like, okay, that's understandable. And then I went to another game stop nearby and then I got a second one. And that second one ended up having a swirl in there, which was pretty neat. And so this is a darkness of blaze pack and yeah, last pack, last part. And then after that, I'll see you guys next week. Cause I won't have any other video besides this one posted and next week, hoping to get everything I need ready. And we have a Shelmet, Reverse Hollow, and for the last card we have a Crobat V. This is a pretty good card I think uh, when people are using it to play. Um, I mean personally for me I love Crobat as well. Like I, I, I've been saying this story but every time I see a Crobat you know I always talk about the time I play the game and I use him like to pass many stages but yeah that's all I have for today. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And like always, until next time.